Hi guys and welcome to a new video today, I have Samsung Galaxy Note 4 with me and today we are going to take a look at the race ROM, the Galaxy S8 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. To be beats. I will split this video into two parts, so in the first part we are going to take a look at this ROM, what does it include, what are the bugs and so on, and in the second part um, I am going to show you how to install this S8 ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Note 4, so now let's start with the review of this ROM. So as you can see at the first look, you can see it looks really similar to the Galaxy S8, the home screen. So you get the S8 style um, weather widget together with the weather app itself. You get the S8 style Google widget, the surrounded widget here, and you get all the S8 icons here for all the apps and uh, also the S8 wallpaper. But another, another nice thing, a really nice thing is that you have the S8 uh, launcher on board on a Marshmallow ROM. So you can see... Um, we get that swipe gesture here, we get all the normal settings of the Galaxy S8 here and launcher, you can change the grid size and all that. Um, right, um, you can also see that you have a lot of S8 um, styled apps here, all the icons look very like the Galaxy S8. For example, the clock app itself looks also really similar to the Galaxy S8 here. Um, together with the settings app, as you can see it looks also really similar to the Galaxy um, S8. Here on the right side I got the Galaxy S6 which run um, the original Nougat here. So this one on the left side is Marshmallow where this one here is Nougat. But you can see almost no differences here between these two devices here. I mean the only change or the only difference here is the search um, label there. Here you got an icon, here you got a label. So this is probably the only change which you can see. But uh, in general it looks really 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 similar to the original Nougat. You can also see on the notification panel here that it looks also really similar here. So on the left side you got the Note 7 style notification panel but the icons and all that have been changed. So if you pull down a notification panel twice on both here you can see it looks really really similar. All the colors, all the icons are exactly the same. Um, the only difference here is again the um, search bar here, it is on the bottom where the search bar on the Galaxy S6 here is at the top. Right, so this is basically it here. Here in notifications you can also see that the notifications look uh, also really similar to the Nougat one. You can see they are now combined, so here we have the Google Play Store um, notification there, but we can uh, expand that with pressing on that arrow here and here you got all the... Um, all the notifications of the Google Play Store. So just like in Nougat, you can separate these notifications, which look really amazing. And uh, right, another nice thing of this ROM here is that you have something called screen resolution, just like in the original S7 Edge Nougat. So here you can change the resolution of the screen. You can make it full HD, and uh, after that you can see it looks really. Um, I mean, it looks. It, I mean, it's a uh, lower resolution right now to um, save power. Um, right, and you can also make it 2K here. And the, I mean, this is a really nice feature because this feature wasn't presented on 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 the Galaxy S7 running on Marshmallow, but this here, but this ROM on Marshmallow has got it. You can also um, scale the whole system here, just like on the Galaxy S7 Edge running on Android Nougat. You can make it everything small here. Let's say done. And you can see everything has got smaller here. Um, we need to wait a second. And you can, as you can see, the notification panel looks also smaller right now. Um, right. Something different, which is also really, really amazing on this ROM, is that you got the always on display. So uh, the always on display works really great here. As you can see, you got it. The you got the always on display fully working on this ROM here. The only thing is that you can't. Um, Open the notifications here. You can on only see the notifications, but you can open you can't open them actually. But I mean, um, it looks really nice here. You can also customize the clock, of course. So let's get in there. Um, where is it always on display? Here you can customize your um, clock. You can change the layout of your clock. So you can make it look like the Galaxy S8 here using this layout. And as you can see, it looks really similar to the Galaxy S8, um, always on display now. 
So the ROM itself is based on a um, Note 7 firmware, so it is a Note 7 full port team, it's like a Galaxy S8. So the, uh, so the S Pen and all that is also working really nice here, as you can see you got all that features, you also get that smart select thing there, and all that standard Note 7 um, features um, of the S Pen, which is also really nice. So if you get into software info, here you can see it is running on Android 6.0.1, uh, so this is based on Marshmallow, so we can... Tap three, tap three times on there and here you can see the easter egg of uh, android marshmallow so it is not based on android nougat but it, look, but it looks really similar to android nougat as i've shown you already with the galaxy s6 there and uh, right so now let's come to the um to the bugs or actually this rom hasn't got any big bugs so there are some features which which are a bit annoying for me for i mean this galaxy note 4 is a really huge device if you hold your uh, galaxy note 4 on your right hand for example you will probably try to pull down the notification panel from the right side here but as you can see it does not work because we have this clock there which is basically a home button so you can't pull down a notification panel from the right side which is in my opinion really uh, really useless and uh, really annoying too for example if you open the settings here and if you tap there by mistake for example the settings app will close so i mean it's not the really useful feature and it can be really annoying so i don't know why the developer has um, why the developers had uh, added this to the ROM, but um, actually, I think, in my, I mean, I mean, in my opinion, it's a really useless feature. Another another um, thing which I didn't like about this ROM is this data usage label there. I mean, it doesn't look that nice. If you pull down a notification panel twice, it looks even worse. As you can see, it is not. Um, I mean, you know, it doesn't look that nice there. And uh, right. So here on lock screen, you can also see that you got the S8 style clock um, clock uh, widget there. Um, the thing is that some people like it, some other people don't like it. I personally don't like it that much because, I mean, this layout takes a bit more space here. Um, but again, of course, everyone has uh, have their own opinion. And another bug is that um, the brightness does not work always. As you can see, it does not work right now. So this is also a really annoying bug, which... Um, can happen but in general this brightness problem um, this brightness issue um, appears really really rare so you don't need to worry about that also that much and uh, right so the ROM itself is really fast it is smooth and they are as I of as I've already told you not that big issues um, you can also see that you got the s8 style um, power menu here with these new icons and this blurred background which looks also really nice and right, so this is basically it now. Let me show you how to install this to your Samsung Galaxy Note 4. So to install this ROM, you actually need to download the ROM first, of course. So you can download the, uh, the ROM from the description of this video. And right after you have downloaded it, um, power off your device first. So now let's power this device off. After that, you need to get into recovery mode. In, uh, to get into the recovery mode, you need to press the volume up button, the home button, and the power on button at the same time. Here, you need to do a wipe first, so let me do that. After that, you need to go back and go to the install option here. Here you need to locate your ROM, in my case it's in a download folder here and uh, this here is the ROM, just swipe to flash. So this could take like 3 minutes or maybe even longer, you just need to wait. To be beats. So after the installation is completed, you just need to reboot to the system here and you need to wait again until um, the phone boots up.
So the phone booted up now as you can see and it, it asks for your SIM pin so let's set up a given um, our pin here and now you just need to set up your phone so this was basically it if you liked, if you liked the video give a thumbs up if you didn't like the video give a dislike as always and peace out.